Hi, this is Janae Marie, and we're at the second Saturday poetry event at the Brick House Art Gallery, where we will hear from a few of Sacramento's best poets um, just doing our thing. I'm Barbara Range, the director and curator of the Brick House uh, Art Gallery and Complex, located in historic Oak Park. Uh, we have a, a great um, lineup schedule. We have uh, Epiphany Castro coming up from uh, Berkeley to co-host with uh, Brother Blacktastic and our feature is uh, Maximilian. Uh, we also have a fantastic art exhibit that is up and uh, it is by the artist Keith Michael who is from uh, Southern California, Los Angeles. The title of the exhibit is called Art in the Key of Life. Uh, the exhibit is up until February the 28th, um, on which Keith will be here. Keith Michael will be here for uh, to do his art talk and also uh, be present for the closing reception. And thank you to all who supports uh, Second Saturday Open Mic and uh, the Brick House Art Gallery. Recognize the difference. Don't be the chair, the thing that inhibits. Be the chair. The thing that helps you move and explore the world around me until I can get into a vivacious groove. See the chair. I'm here every second Saturday at the Brick House for uh, open mic poetry. We always have a wonderful show. The art on the walls is amazing. Uh, beautiful setting, beautiful place for poetry. So I love to share my poetry, get inspired by what I have to say. So always a great time. Um, I'm, well, I'm a local area poet, so I, of course I love to share my words, I love to be inspired by the gifts of others, and it's a, it's a wonderful place to see the community get together for, to support each other. Um, every time I leave here, I leave inspired. As soon as I walk through the door, it's just a different ambiance, you know, makes me feel good, so, you know, definitely somewhere I'll, I'll continue to come, so. Um, and also I think what, you know, Black Classic is doing, you know, with, with poetry and publishing in Sacramento is awesome, and I'm always there to support it any way I can. Well, basically, like, I wanted to present disability in a more human way. I wanted to get people involved in what it feels like to live with a disability and to start thinking about the ways in which disabled people are excluded from society. And that led me to write the book called The Gimpy Monologues. It's a series of dramatic and poetic reflections about living life with a disability. And uh, it's available on Amazon Kindle if you search for Ronald Brady or Cat Captain Gimpy or the Gimpy monologues. Kitchen counters, screaming kettles, scalding burns. Pain, frustration, and spite reign supreme. Dull aching runs through my bones like a dam slowly breaking, a body like a prison. It has its own impulses. Burdening my mind for its lack of ease and fluidity. Differently abled my ass. That's what it's like on Gimpy Days living with a disability. Thank you. Uh, tonight I'm hanging out here at the Brick House to Bust a little beatbox, old school style, making sound effects with the mouth, beats with the mouth. <laughs> Stuff like that, nonsense. Anytime you get an opportunity to get people together, it's a good thing. Something fun, something unique, art, it's beautiful. It's actually a nice place. I guess you should come check it out. I first got started in music. Exactly right out of high school, I signed a record contract, toured across the United States for a bunch of years with a bunch of crazy cats, and then settled down, started just like concentrating on making music, more producing, and that's what I do now. You all know them, and whether you want to clown them or not, we don't care who is singing the song. We don't care who originated it, we was all bouncing to, girl, you know, which push, 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 I love you, 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 you. I'm in love with you, girl, 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 girl. And 
that was our first taste of Indian music because we didn't have no idea what that lady was saying. <laughs> We didn't know what she was saying, but it was printed, printed, they stole it all. What would I like but people then, to know about me? I would like people to know about me that I love God, that I love my family, that I love beats, music, and conscious lyrics. And actually, music, art, or dance that makes you feel something. There's nothing worse than seeing something that makes you feel nothing. So I like seeing stuff, dance, music, rhythms that make you feel something. That's me. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Then they throw the funky drummer and it just randomly, they call it a hallelujah break. Just a little bit of flare up in there. Normally you don't hear. Do you have a chance right now to come together, all different groups, all different arts, you know? And we can really, you know, if we work together, you know, we can actually put the arts in Sacramento on the map, you know? I think that, you know, community and support is the key. So just whatever it is that we're doing, let's support each other. If, I mean, so many people in this city complain that there's nothing to do. And then when you show them places like this, it's like their eyes are open for the first time. So the more events like this we have, the more we're able to give Sacramento a life and a voice. The next time you feel the need to tell me that I'm an inspiration, just remember, I'm not inspiration. Unless, of course, something I've done has moved you to do something you've always wanted to do. In that case, I'm an idiot that failed to realize that I was an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. And for that, it's beautiful. I read that, and um, I just really need to go with the first. Thank you for writing that. And, you know, there's um, the, the way that this man writes, he communicates with you through his words. And it may be a one-sided conversation because he's, you know, you, you were the recipient of this. But I mean, he has so much wisdom in his words. So if you have a chance, purchase his book, The Gimpy Monologue. So I'm just saying, I, I, it was very, very hard for me to decide which poem I was going to read tonight now because they were amazing. You made it sound um, better than it was when I wrote it, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to do it. It's an honor.